Hello, I'm that guy two four four eight seven, and welcome to another Taking Up the One Take show. Um, today, this time, I'm going to be trying to take away from the relationships and try to explain why I like the Japanese vocaloids more than I like the English-speaking ones. Um, the main reason being, and I've tried, but the real reason is they've, they've got character, the Japanese ones. They, you know, for a start off on the back packaging you get them in, there's a picture of what they're supposed to look like. And that automatically sort of gives them character to me, because not only have you got a voice, you've got an image with it. And that sort of brings them more to life. And as I've said before, there are little facts to them. You know, some have more than others. But, you know, like Biku's supposed to be 16. You know, they have a weight and a height for her. You know, and that sort of brings the character more to life, and that makes them more fun. You know, particularly when you, if you're thinking about a story, um, f you know, a song with a storyline to it, that helps go along quite well. You know, you can think, ah, oh, would this character actually be doing this? Um, which is another reason why, uh, well, one person in particular, he really doesn't like sort of Rim and Lynn with the incest. Or, you know, just generally kissing in partners, or as he's also pointed out to me, um, her, you know, stabbing each other, killing each other, that's kind of wrong too, you know, and not, and not in just a general way that oh, they died in the storyline or something like that, or they were killed by a car accident, you know, um, you know, for the fact that they are actually killing each other brutally, because he said there are such videos around and people have done them, um, but as I say, that's entirely up to the person who makes the video, but it's not something we, uh, you know, we really want to see. We, are, we love these characters the way they are and the sort of, um, sort of nice fa family friendship loving, you know, with a bit of gentle teasing here and there. <laughs> um, like I say, they, they, the Japanese ones come with the, the picture on them. The English ones don't. They're pretty much just a voice with a name. Um, uh, I've seen on one of them there was sort of like a human face, but it wasn't a proper human face, it just sort of looked white and looked like it was a ma mask made to look human, it was it wasn't quite the same and you know and I've, I've seen a few of their videos seen a few of their videos here and there and they don't have a character to them as well you know it was like watching your music on your media player which is fine but when you go onto YouTube to watch a video you want to see a little bit more than that you know I mean, even if it is sometimes just a picture of what's singing, that's a little bit better, really, than watching something you could see on your computer already, isn't it? Yeah. So that's sort of uh, why I that. And also, they don't have any, um, you know, facts to them or anything. They don't, you know. But I have seen some people have when they combined them with the English ones with the Japanese ones, because I saw a Christmas uh, song with um, Lola and primer in it, there they did have um, a sort of vocal, sort of vocaloid looking, you know, avatar to them. That was, you know, and I thought, well, that's that's nice. That makes it a little bit more interesting. But of course, it's not official, official. You know, a lot of the facts that we make up about vocaloids, you know, they're not, they're not official. You know, um, that hence why we were trying to sort of state why, you know, we why I, I believe that they are twins. But of course. And there are a lot of people who say, you know, they're just programs, they have no relationships, and that's just boring. You know, you, that's just killjoys, <laughs> in my personal opinion. And I've stated evidence to state why they could be considered twins for other reasons than relationships. But, you know, I would say that's just the way I go. But now, there are, with the, um, to the English ones, there are also two types of ones. There are the Zero G Limited ones, which there are five of them I think, it's, you know, it's either four, four or five, and then there are power fix ones which there are just two. Um, I think power fix ones actually got the first um, Vocaloid 2 version software in with the Sweet Anne. As far as, I've, as far as I know, it could, could be wrong, I thought it was Miku, but you know. Um, but, yeah, so, and there's Big Al also for, for, for power fix. But they're not particularly well known, I think, and not heard a lot about them. Um, the Primer one is the main one I've heard, and of course the Lola and the Leon. Um, and I think there's 
Miriam, something like that, I can't pronounce it, um, as well, but you know, they're good. I'm not saying they're not saying they're bad, but you know, they've got no character, there's nothing to go with with them. Um, yeah, so that's sort of my little rant about it. Uh, thank you again, and once again, all done in one take, so you have to up to you with all the little imperfections in it. But I think that makes it look great. Alright then, until next time, goodbye.